Hey guys, my name is Clive and welcome to another tutorial video using Filmora. So today I'm going to teach you how to apply the erase effect from colored to black and white using Filmora. It is a fun, cool and simple video which is very easy to use using three different steps. Let me show you how. Now the main feature of this effect is to transition from colored to black and white. So the first video needs to be colored. So you need to make sure that the first clip is colored. It could be a video that you've taken from a normal camera or it could be a video that you've color graded yourself. Now, as you can see on the timeline, I've already got a video that I am going to use. Now step two is to copy and paste your video to your timeline. This will be your second video. So what I'm going to do next is basically copy this video and then paste it to your timeline. Now once you've copy and paste your second video, the next thing you have to do is color grade that video using black and white preset. So here's how you're going to do that. So double click the video and go to advanced color tools and go to color correction and then it will take you to this window here which says preset. Now what I want you to do is look for the preset called black and white which is this one then click that to apply to your second video and then click OK. Now as you can see the second video is already black and white. What I want you to do now next is bring the second video on top of your first video. Now my major tip is to make sure that your videos, your first video and second video are all the same clip. You want to transition your video from color to black and white so you need to make sure that the clips are exactly the same. All right, once your second video is already on top of your first video, what you need to do next is to apply the transition effect, which is the erase effect. Now, where can you find the erase effect transition? Simply go on top of the software of Filmora, click transition. Now, the next thing you need to do is look for the erase effect, so which is pretty much this one. What you need to do now is to drag your erase effect to the second video which is on top of your first video. Now you can adjust the speed of your transition effect whether you want it to be very quick you can shorten that one or you want it to be a little bit longer you could drag that a little bit out. So just see how it goes with your timing with the video and how quick or how slow you want the transition effect. As you can see I've already applied the transition effect and that's it. As simple as that, we're already done. All right guys, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you three different clips where I use the erase effect. I um, hope you liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna leave you off with three different videos and I shall see you next time. Bye guys.